The PGA Tour is suspending more of its members tonight as the list of pro golfers joining the Saudi-backed Live Tour grows. This series officially launched yesterday in London with some big names. I'm talking Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, just to name a couple. And some of the world's top golfers are now under scrutiny for participating, especially with the Saudi government's past human rights violations. Michael McDaniel is a writer at Sports Illustrated and joining us live tonight. Uh, Mike, good to see you. Um, so they're suspending more golfers. What does that exactly mean? Can they still play in the majors? Great question. Yeah, great question. That is the million dollar question at this point. So the USGA, which heads up the US Open next week, has said that yes, the live players, live participants can play in the US Open. There's one more major this year, the Open Championship at St. Andrews next month in July. The RNA has yet, to, and the RNA runs the tournament, they have yet to say whether or not the live golfers can participate. If they say yes, they can, it will be really interesting to see what the other two majors do. That's the Masters and the PGA Championship. Uh, the Masters, of course, takes place every April, just had the PGA Championship a few weeks back. So there is some time for these tournaments to make a decision early next year, whether or not the live players are going to participate. But right now, I think they really hold the keys to whether or not these, you know, the, the PGA Tour has a leg to stand on at this point, whether or not they're going to be able to say, yeah, these players that are defecting to the live tour can't play here on PGA Tour ever again. Because will the live players even care if they can play the four majors? That's really the big question at this point. Well, I guess the question is for people like Phil Mickelson, who says the mission for him is to reshape how the PGA operates. But is it that or is it this is a heck of a lot of money? I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Now, the players don't want that. They want to kind of have their cake and eat it, too, right? They want to say, OK, I want to grab these exorbitant amounts of money. In Phil Mickelson's case, north of $200 million. Dustin Johnson's case, north of $125 million. To put it into context, these two players are making more just by appearing in the Live Tour than Tiger Woods has made on the course, on the PGA Tour for his entire career. It is a lot of money, but they don't want to answer the tough questions that come along with it, with the Saudi government essentially sports washing with this tour you know, trying to essentially make up for their abhorrent record on human rights. Um, that's really what this is about. They want to, you know, save face and kind of reshape their image. And these players are the vehicle for making that happen. And they are making an exorbitant amount of money to do it. Mm. What do fans think of all this, Mike? It's mixed, to be honest with you. I, I think a lot of fans are saying, why can't they go and, and play on another tour and be able to make the money that they want to make for their families? But at the same time, a lot of people see the moral issues with this, saying, you know, how can these players essentially take this dirty money? And that's kind of the PGA Tours angle, right? They're saying, well, these players are going to, you know, defect and, and leave our tour and go play for a Saudi-backed, effort essentially to sports wash and what does that mean you know for our tour moving forward right and the pga tour feels threatened by the live golf tour because there's no other tour in the world that's paying players just to appear at the courses and at these tournaments and be paid so much money to do it it's really a threat to the pga tour in a way that they've never really felt before because they have always been the premier golf tour in the world and now, you know, if these players can play in the four major championships, the four biggest tournaments in the world every year, and then, you know, when they're not playing in the majors, make exorbitant amounts of money elsewhere, they're going to go do it. And a lot of players don't have an issue with the morality of it as much as the fans would like them to. Right. They say it's just about golf and we're going to make some money in the process. And you saw um, uh, the shark there. He, of course, is the CEO of the Live Tour. Is this going to end up hurting the PGA in the long run? Um, what's the, what's the long term plan um, as we watch more and more of these big, big players uh, join this tour? Yeah, I think it is going to hurt them in the long run. Um, now, again, you know, things can change, right? This is very new. I mean, the first Live Golf Tour events taking place this week, but you're seeing some of the top players in the world go and make the moves and not really feel threatened by the PGA Tour and their, and their, you know, their angle to suspend these players. They don't really care. They say, you know what, we're independent contractors. We can play golf wherever we want. Let's see if this holds up in court. If you're going to come after us and say we can't play in some of the biggest tournaments of the year. The organizers of these four major championships hold the keys to this entire thing, in my opinion, and really 
you know, we'll back the PGA Tour into a corner. Four major championships say that these players can play. What's the PGA Tour going to do? I mean, the, the only other big tournament that these players probably care about that the PGA Tour has outside of the four majors mm-hmm. is the Players' Championship. Right. But if these four majors allow these guys to play, then, you know, do, are they allowed to play in the Players' Championship? Will it hold up in court if it gets to that point? There are a lot of intriguing questions, but I think it does hurt the PGA Tour in the long run, certainly. Oh, a lot of drama involved, and we're watching it. Um, get out your little golf chair and, and watch it unfold. Mike McDaniel, uh, we appreciate your time tonight. Have a good weekend. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Yep. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.